square root of a number whose digits add up to four. Um, remember when we were um, first starting our packet for CLT, I made sure that you guys wrote down your perfect squares. This is where um, being familiar with those numbers is going to come in handy, right? So one squared is one, two squared is four, three squared, nine, four squared, um, 16, five squared, 25, six squared, um, 36, seven squared, 49, eight squared, 64, nine squared, 81. And I'm looking here at these numbers and I'm looking for my perfect squares for the digits to add up to four. So this is just one. This is four, but K has to be greater than five. So it can't be any of these because these are all five and less. Three plus six is nine, four plus nine, 13, six plus four, 10, eight plus one, nine. So none of these yet. Um, 10 squared would be 100, one plus zero plus zero, one. 11 squared would be 121. 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 4. So those add up to 4. So all of this can go and ba -ba -da -ba -da. okay. So we want k is the square root of a number whose digits add up to four. So that means that k would be our, uh, our 11 here. So if we put that in, um, 11 minus one squared, it's just 10 squared. So that's 100. And now I'm gonna keep I'm gonna move quickly because like I said, we're at the end of this practice test, and um, I want you guys to be focusing more on um, questions towards the beginning. Um, we're we're yeah, we're we're in a little more difficult trigonometry than what we've been practicing in class here. Number 118, a balloon is rising from the ground at a constant rate of five feet per second. An observer's point of view is 75 feet away at ground level. If theta is the angle formed by the ground and the observer's line of sight, and T is the number of seconds after the balloon leaves the ground, which of the following gives theta in terms of T? So when we're looking at this, like we can graph that going up some feet. And um, it's taking some seconds. And in seconds, it's going up. Um, so we're here at ground level. And as time's going by, it's going up. So you got your, your angle there on your graph. Um, tangent of theta would be um, opposite over adjacent. So that would be our... Um, our feet, our height, over time. And um, so our opposite, we've gone um, theta in terms of T, we're going um, five T, and we're 75 feet. So for every 
second tee, they're going 15 feet. So tangent of theta would be um, T over 15. And they want to know which of the following gives theta in terms of T. So to, to cancel out our tangent, we're going to take tangent number negative 1 of both sides. So let's put that in. Tangent negative one of this and then you have to do that on the other side as well so we can cross that out tangent negative one of t over 15 was there and the tangent negative one and tangent gets our theta by itself so theta equals tangent negative one of t over 15. So that's um, answer choice D. And then we've just got two more questions. Um, number 119. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this one. A company tracks its profits by comparing each year's profits to the previous year's profits. At the end of year two, its profits had increased 25% from year one's profits at the end of year three profits decreased by 36 percent of the end of year two's profits during year four The company sets a goal to increase their profits to be equal to year one's profits. By what percent must year four's profits increase from year three's in order to reach the goal? So if year one, it's just let's work with some easy numbers and say they started making $100 and they went up 25%, then that would be times 1.25. So they made $125 the next year. And then the next year they went down 36% of this. So $125. And we want to know what's 36% of it? 36% of $125. is how much. So this will be your three's amount of decrease. So I'm gonna cross multiply 100x equals um, 125 times 36. Six times five is 30. Six times two is 12 plus three, 15. Six times one, six plus one, seven. Three times five, 15. Three times two, six plus one, seven. Three times one, three. And we're gonna have to Divide that by 100, so it's 45, so it's going down 45. So 125 minus 45, um, zero. Make that uh, 12 minus four is eight, so they're down to 80. And now we need to get this 80 back up to 100. So I know it needs to go up more than 20%. And between 25% uh, and 39%, one of those is the answer. I definitely know both of these are too small. Um, I know it needs to go up more than 20% because 20% of 100 would be 20. Um, 
let me just check real quick what's 40% of 80. So 80 times 0 0.404 4 times 8, 32. Um, so 32, so 40% would be too much because we don't need to go up 32. So 25 is the correct amount. And last question on practice test number one. How many integers between 500 and 900 inclusive meet one or both of the conditions given in the two statements below? The square root of the integer is an even integer and the product of their digits is zero. Oh, or, or, not and, or. One or, one or both. So the product of their digits is zero. So how many numbers in the 500s, 600s, 700s, 800s, up to 900 um, meet the criteria? And I know that um, 900 is... 30 times 30 so that's my um that's my highest integer here 30 squared is 900 so that's one number in the 900s and i know um in the 500s how many numbers um have a zero in it so all of the 50 something, so 500, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 510, that's 10, and then 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 590, all of those. So that's the first 10, and then 9 more for 20, 40, 60, 80, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90. And then 600 is going to have those same 19. That's our pattern here. And then what other um, square root of the integer is an even integer? So 30 squared is in there. Um, 28 squared. 28 times 28. 8 times 8, 64. 8 times 2, 16 plus 6, uh, 22. 2 times 8, 16. 2 times 2, 4 plus 1, 5. 6, 7, 8, 5, 6, 7, 7, 84. So that doesn't have a zero in it, so that's another one. Um, not 27 squared, 26 squared. 26 times 26, 6 times 6, 36, 6 times 2, 12 plus 3, 15, 2 times 6, 12, carry the 1, 2 times 2, 4 plus 1, 5, and we're still above 500, um, 0, 7, 6, 70, um, so we already, no, that, that's a 6, not a 0. 6 plus 0, 6, 5, 6, 7, 5, 6, 6, 76. So that's another one. Um, skip 25, 24 squared. 24 times 24. 4 times 4 is 16. 8, 9. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 2, 4. 6. 17576. And I'm gonna guess if we go to um uh 22, it's gonna be smaller than 500 because look how far apart all of those are. So we got 19, or we got 10, 20, 30, 40, and 9 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 36, and 1, 2, 3, 4 singles. So six and four, I got two, I got, I got 80.